Hi guys, Hugh here from Square Labs. Today I'm going to show you how you can install a button on the deal record inside your CRM and when you click it, it will use a merge template that you've installed inside your CRM and save that back to the attachments area on that deal record. Now the reason you might want to do this is going through the whole mail merge process can be you know, a little bit time consuming. So this way we can help speed up that process with a bit of automation. Inside the deal record here, you can see, what we're gonna do is have a button up here that you press and then it will save it into the attachments area. It's quite a simple task. It's just a little bit of code inside CRM um, to do this. So first step is we're gonna to have to create a connection to Zoho Writer because Zoho Writer is actually the application that creates the merge. So what we'll do is we'll go into connections inside your CRM. So going to Setup, Developer Space, Connections. And inside Connection, we want to create a connection. What we want to do then is we want to create a Zoho OAuth. By clicking this, I'm going to enter a connection name. I'm just going to call mine writer underscore connection. Now we're going to have to choose the right scope to allow this because we're actually using the API to do this task. So what you're gonna do is just search, and we can just search Writer, and we want Zoho Writer Merge All. We can select this one, then we can scroll down, Create and Connect. You'll get a pop-up to allow you to connect it. Click Connect, and Accept. This is now successfully connected. So what we can do now is exit this one, so we don't need it and create a merge template. So I've already created one um, and in here in under mail merge, we've got this deal proposal. If I open this one up by clicking edit, I've just created it very basic for this demonstration proposal. I'm getting the deal name, the deal type and the amount of that deal. But while you're here and creating your template, you need to copy this document ID from the URL and save that because we're going to need that to pass through to get it to merge. Once you've done that and click done and you can close, we now are going to go and create a function to get the field values that we need to pass through. So we can go into functions and we're going to create a new function and we'll create a standalone one because we're just going to use this as a temporary function and we're just going to call this one get merge fields. And I'll just do that here, create that. So in here, I've already got the code and I'll link down below to so you guys can access it. But what we can do is we put in our merge document ID here. And then we're going to have this integration task, zoho.writer.getMergeFields. And then we pass in the document merge ID. And then this is where you will add the name of your connection if you named it something different to writer connection. If we click save and execute, you'll notice we get this execution return here and we've got it written in a JSON format and sometimes it makes it a bit easier to copy this. You can open up and Google a JSON formatter, usually they're everywhere on the internet. Paste that in here, click process, we see it get in a, in a nicer readable format. These are the field names that we're going to use when we pass through the data to the function to create the merge. And you've got them here, one, two, three, that I'm gonna pass through. If you're expanding this function, you're gonna find a few more fields and you can see them when you do that. Next step, we're going back to functions. We can close this one. We're gonna create a new function. Now this one's gonna be a button. And we're gonna call this one merge proposal document. Copy that there, click create. Now in here, I've already got the code and I'll link that below as well. And we're just gonna paste it here. Now, we first need to create an argument. Now, we're gonna create the argument called deal ID. Just put it as a string type and click save. Cause this is the, the ID we're gonna pass from the button to the function to start the process. Inside here, you will insert your document ID for the one that we copied from the template. Then we're gonna get some 
data from the deal that we want to merge in. So we can go zoho.crm.get record by ID and we pass to our deal ID. We then get some variables. So I've just got the deal name, the deal type, and the deal amount. And these are the API names for these fields. We want to prepare the merge document requirements. So I'm just going to call this one proposal document. You can name the result however you want. You can also, you know, add in other variables that you get from here. We create a merge data map or an object, and then we want to put in the names that we got from the um, function that we spat out those results before from the JSON formatter. So these, deal name, type, and amount, will all sit in here with a corresponding value. You can add more, just add them into the merge data map dot put, and then you can put in the name of another one of those fields and the variable that you've got assigned to them. This little bit here is a little bit of formality, just the way that it accepts the code in. And then we want to merge the document. Now to merge the document, we've put in the merge document ID, which we've got from the top. We want it to come out in a PDF format. We're adding in our merge values, which is what we've got here, the data we're passing. And we're going to use that writer connection again. What we do is we rename the document to PDF to make it look a little bit nicer because otherwise, if we don't do this, it'll come out as the document name .zdoc.pdf. Next step is we're going to save the attachment back to the deal. We use the integration task here, attach file. We put in the deal module, the ID, and then the merged PDF that comes out. Down the bottom here is what is the button going to return to you? So proposal created is just what I've added in there. You can add some other variables if you needed their document name, for example, if you want it to have document created, maybe a double semicolon there and the document name. Next thing we can save this. And now we just have to associate the button to the deals. So inside my deal record here, at the moment you see there's no button, we can go at the top, create button. And then what we can do in here is we want to call this prepare proposal document. We'll put it on the view page. You can see other locations you might want to put the button on if you need to. And we're going to get this to uh, perform an action and that's going to be from an existing action we're going to select merge proposal document. Now we can click configure and this is where we're going to pass through that deal ID. Just use the merge tag key, which is a hashtag deals. Then we're going to select deal ID. Just click done, save. And now we've configured that button. We can then save this record here. It'll refresh. You'll see here, now we've got prepare proposal document as a button up the top. If you click that, it'll process. You can see the lines going across the top. And when it's ready, it will pop up on the screen. Proposal created, and then we've got that proposal document variable we pass through. And click the X, it will automatically refresh after that. And you can see now we have an attachment. If we scroll down to the attachment, we can see proposal document. If we click that, we can see here that the proposal has been automatically generated now and saved to the deal record. Thanks guys and feel free to reach out if you need any alternates to this next video I will be doing will be showing you how to automatically email the merge document to the client.